aviation holds many mysteries, but few are as captivating as the State Route 72, the successor to the legendary Blackbird. This project fascinates aerospace enthusiasts and sparks curiosity in anyone eager to uncover hidden truths. Imagine peeling back layers of secrecy, each revelation pulling you deeper. Do you have the courage to face what lies behind this door? To truly understand the State Route 72, we must first honor its predecessor, the Blackbird. Known for its unmatched speed and stealth, the Blackbird set records and became a symbol of America's aerospace dominance. But what makes the State Route 72 even more extraordinary? Any guesses? The SR-72's design is an engineering marvel, built to endure extreme temperatures while maintaining peak aerodynamic performance at hypersonic speeds. Did you know that at such speeds, heat buildup becomes a major challenge? Engineers solved this with advanced materials you won't find in any showroom. In 2018, the State Route 72 prototype made its ambitious debut, featuring not one but two powerful engines capable of pushing it to Mach 10. Picture a steel beast nearly 60 feet long, tearing through the sky at over Mach 5. But with great speed comes great challenges. What risks lie ahead? Developing the State Route 72 isn't easy. It requires groundbreaking solutions and collaboration among the brightest minds in aerospace. What innovations from this project will transform aviation forever? Stay tuned to find out. Lockheed Martin Skunk Works has long pursued hypersonic flight, with the HTV-2 project being a key experiment. Part of DARPA's Falcon project, this rocket-powered aircraft aimed to unlock secrets of aerodynamics, heat resistance, and flight control at Mach 20, fast enough to reach anywhere on Earth in under an hour. Imagine flying from New York to L.A. in just 12 minutes. In 2011, the U.S. Air Force and DARPA launched the second HTV-2 test. Initially, everything went smoothly, but nine minutes in, the vehicle lost signal, forcing the command center to trigger self-destruction. Since 2003, Lockheed Martin has worked on the Falcon HTV. Two as a key piece of the U.S. Department of Defense's Global Precision Strike Plan, enabling precise attacks anywhere in the world within 60 minutes. The SR-72's development follows this bold vision. Human creativity and perseverance know no bounds. From designing propulsion systems that endure extreme heat and pressure to developing materials for hypersonic flight, every breakthrough showcases ingenuity. In April 2010, the HDV. Two took its first historic flight, soaring at Mach 20, 13,000 miles per hour, and pushing the limits of technology while gathering crucial data on hypersonic challenges. Lessons from these flights shaped the State Route 72, blending the SR-71's legacy with bold innovations. As it takes off, its turbine engine hums, but its true power lies in its dual ramjet system. Once past hypersonic speeds, the State Route 72 maintains stability in extreme conditions, demonstrating the brilliance behind its design. Advanced aerodynamics are crucial for the SR-72's exceptional speed. Using computational fluid dynamics and wind tunnel testing, engineers ensure stability at Mach 6, nearly double the sr 71 speed. Lockheed Martin's prototype is expected to fly in 2025 with full operational readiness by the 2030s. Unlike previous experimental craft, the State Route 72 is designed for real missions made from carbon-carbon composites for superior durability. The State Route 72 will revolutionize intelligence, offering real-time data for heightened situational awareness. Armed with hypersonic missiles, it's a powerful strike asset for precision attacks. Its speed and agility make it a key player in hypersonic warfare capable of dominating contested airspace. Beyond military use, the State Route 72 interests space research groups for its potential in atmospheric studies and payload launches. Could this aircraft spark a new era in space exploration? Drop a one if you agree. The SR-71's legacy paved the way for the State Route 72, which has evolved through challenges, including the hypersonic HTV-2 tests. Lockheed Martin's relentless innovation has made the State Route 72 a game-changer, with Mach 6 speeds and stealth fighter capabilities. With U.S. Air Force support, hypersonic engine testing began in 2013, 
and the first prototype flight is expected by 2025. The State Route 72 will transform strategic intelligence with its speed, range, and flexibility. Its hypersonic technology has the potential to change civilian transport and research, while its military applications are crucial for national security. Its broader impact on technology and industry is equally significant. Lockheed's continued innovation hints at even more advanced projects. Could there be an even faster hypersonic jet in development? Speculation grows as analysts connect clues from patents and government statements. What do you think? Drop a comment with your thoughts. Contractors and space agencies to create a hypersonic space plane, opening a new era in aviation and space exploration. With such ambitions, we could be witnessing a new race for technological and strategic dominance. The hypersonic race is heating up, and global superpowers like the U.S., China, and Russia are fiercely competing in this high-stakes arena. Investments in hypersonic tech are seen as a race to advance military strength and intelligence. China, for example, has made significant progress, testing a range of hypersonic vehicles, including gliders and scramjets. The rise of hypersonic weapons, capable of rapid and precise strikes, has raised alarms among global defense analysts. This has pushed other nations to strengthen their efforts to maintain a competitive edge. In January 2025, China unveiled its Quantian Ho hypersonic aircraft prototype, capable of reaching Mach 4 speeds. Measuring 23 feet long and weighing around 11,023 pounds, it is expected to conduct its first test flight in 2026. The aircraft is powered by an advanced ram rotor engine combining rotary combustion, rotor compressors, and straight-through ramjet technology. Ling Kong Tian Xing Technology, the aerospace company behind the project, is also developing the Jindu 400S engine, which, at 6 tons, will weigh just 220 pounds and generate 4,000 newtons of thrust. Russia is also advancing its hypersonic capabilities. The Kinzhal missile, one of six hypersonic weapons announced by President Putin in 2018, boasts speeds of Mach 10 and a range of 1,243 miles. Its ability to evade air defenses makes it one of the fastest and most formidable missiles in the world. In September 2023, it was revealed that Russia had successfully launched the Kinzhal from a Su-34 aircraft during a military operation in Ukraine, though the exact number of missiles in Russia's arsenal remains undisclosed. The U.S. is also deeply involved, with the Air Force and DARPA working on the hypersonic air-breathing weapon concept program to stay ahead. A recent successful missile test at the Wallops Flight Facility marked progress and the U.S. military is preparing to introduce the hypersonic attack cruise missile, HACM. With a contract worth $985 million, Raytheon and Northrop Grumman are developing the missile, which will feature an air-breathing jet engine. Though HACM won't be deployed until fiscal year 2027, the U.S. is heavily investing in its development, with $380 million for R&D in fiscal year 2024 and another $517 million proposed for fiscal year 2025. Hypersonic weapons, known for their speed and unpredictable maneuvering, pose significant challenges to interception and defense. While they enhance military capabilities, they also raise concerns about the potential for miscalculations and conflict escalation. As new technologies emerge, they reshape not just warfare tactics, but also our understanding of conflict. Are we approaching a new phase in modern warfare? Effective communication is critical to preventing misunderstandings and unintended consequences in this rapidly evolving landscape. The development of hypersonic weapons has raised concerns about arms control, especially since hypersonic missiles aren't covered by treaties like the New START. The future of arms control will need to balance national security and global stability. But hypersonic flight's impact extends beyond the military, with companies like SpaceX and Blue Origin exploring reusable space planes for space tourism and ultra-fast global travel. While civilian hypersonic technology is still in early stages, military advancements are paving the way for future commercial uses. Hypersonic vehicles also have major implications for space travel, potentially bridging aviation and space easing access to low Earth orbit. The State Route 72 project symbolizes this leap, 
marking the next step in humanity's journey into uncharted skies. Just like the State Route 71 Blackbird inspired aerospace pioneers, we are entering a new era of aviation. But does the State Route 72 really exist, or is it just speculation? The State Route 72, rumored to surpass Mach 6, became a legend when Lockheed Martin's 2007 reveal sparked massive interest. Despite ongoing secrecy and only limited leaks, the USAF hasn't confirmed its existence. Recently, Lockheed Martin confirmed the State Route 72 is still in development, with a prototype expected soon, collaborating with Airjet Rocketdyne to bring it to life. The story of the State Route 72 continues to captivate, leaving us to wonder if this will soon become a reality. In other news, tensions are rising in the South China Sea. A routine U.S. Navy patrol turned into a high-stakes standoff when a USP 8A Poseidon reconnaissance aircraft was closely approached by Chinese jets. The Poseidon, designed for surveillance, was forced into evasive action after detecting a threat. This incident highlights the growing military rivalry between the U.S. and China. Could this be a strategic move or just a coincidence? Stay tuned for updates on this escalating situation.